Um, this is Chip's video blog. This is uh, Chip's uh, video blog number one, and I uh, just want to get this off my chest. Uh, Testing one, two, three, four. Uh, this is Chip Seinfeld, V Blog number one. Attention to charity from Dockside Dolls, 161 area. Stop blowing up my cell phone, please. Leave me the fuck alone, you crazy bitch. And uh, I am not your sugar daddy, so please, please leave me alone. I'm here at the Columbus Funny Bone. Uh... I'm gonna ask for some stage time, and uh, I'm pretty sure they'll say yes, I am being me. Let's check it out. So you are Chip Seinfeld. Got any stage time for me tonight or what there, Daddy? How can you even possibly think it would be okay to walk in here? Oh my God, just get out. Just seriously. My brother's Jerry Seinfeld. I don't wanna fucking hear it, man. I don't fucking hear this fucking place grow. Get the fuck out! What the hell? When I heard Seinfeld had a degenerate brother living in Columbus, Ohio, I laughed. When I met this worthless piece of shit, I cried. I didn't realize that by walking through his front door, I was stepping into the gates of hell. I'm not really sure how I got sucked into making this documentary about him, but somehow it happened and I wish it never did. I think Chip's an amazing person. He's an amazing human being. Chip is very spiritual. He's a wonderful person. Mm, Jerry Seinfeld stole his whole fucking comedy routine from his younger, more handsome brother. Fuck that motherfucker, call me. Uh, I feel like I may be reaching Nirvana. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. It's all it's all becoming clear. Everything's a distraction. There's one goal. And Everything else is a distraction. And the goal is? You interrupt me, I almost had it and you fucked me up. You fucked me up. I was almost... I was almost enlightened, you motherfucker. This fucking cocksucker <laughs> just fucked me up from being enlightened. Chip Seinfeld bailed out of the third Ghostbusters. Really? You don't know. He didn't even show up to the shoot. All I have to say is this. In the scheme of life, I'm the Seinfeld with talent. That's all I'm saying. I get along with everybody. I do not get along with that dude. You know, I, I've seen that guy uh, take a, a handful of cash from a booker and just, in front of him, give it right to his dealer and just get a sack of blow like that. You know, and I was just like, have some class. Go around the corner, you know? Let me ask you this. Maybe this will change your mind right here. Nope. Are you serious, Chip? What? Okay, I think uh, Chip is, uh, he's a cocksucker. I think, I think he's a dick. He needs to, um, you know, he's a dick. He's just one of the dudes, he, he's, he's like a chick. He talks shit behind her back and then you show up, he's like, hey buddy, you know, I, I never said that about your act, you know? I don't know, I don't know. He's just one, you know, he's one of those fucking bottom feeder guys. You got the, maybe 10 bucks I can bum and I'll get you back? My brother will cut you a check. It's not like he isn't worth the money, you know? You know he's good for it. That's what he said. Does he owe you any money? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't, you know what, I don't need it. The stuff that I gave him, that I, I, I don't, I don't want it, I don't need it, I don't want it back, fine, whatever. It's, I'll, I'll pay, I'll, I'll look at it, I'll look at it as payment so that I don't have to deal with him. I'm Jerry Seinfeld's brother. Did you know that? Like I'm Chip Seinfeld. Yeah. What do you think of that? Are you impressed? No. All right. Well, have a good night. She should have been impressed, I think, because, I mean, she was clearly kidding. She said no. That was a cold bitch, I think, huh? I, no one hates that fucking guy more than I do. Yeah, there's somebody who hates him more than you, and that's me. No fucking way. 
Oh, really? Yeah. What the fuck did he ever do to you? He fucked my wife on the road after I bombed. So, uh, I'm, I'm Jared Seinfeld's brother, you know? Ah, uh, we don't give a shit. Jerry Seinfeld's a fag. I'm sorry, sir. Pardon me. Dude, Jerry Seinfeld's a fag. Well, that's that's my time. Thanks for. He's an awful, awful human that uh, thrives off of uh, the weak and steals from those who are talented. Uh, I wish anything on him. AIDS, cancer, painful cancer. Probably the rectal chyme where there's bleeding. I hope he gets that. Sad mother, everybody. Sad mother. OSU basketball coach. I'm Chip Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld's brother. You're kidding me. Uh, I'm very, I'm almost as famous as my brother. Chip Seinfeld with a message to the haters. For all of you who don't believe that I'm really Jerry's brother, booyah in your face, bitch. Chip Seinfeld, I worked with him, I believe like a year or two ago. And I don't really mind when, when comics sell stuff in front of me. You know, it's how you make extra money. I do have a problem though when like MCs sell stuff and they have their bad CDs like with just the Sharpie written their name on it. And I think he had just these bad, he printed out of his computer that said Chip Seinfeld. And it's like dudes like that who have like 10 minutes of material. I don't know why they try to sell shit after the show. Some guys just like to sell shit. Sometimes it's about selling shit and not about your act, you know? What's this right here? It was gonna be a gift I was gonna give you for thirty dollars. A gift for thirty dollars? This is the deluxe this this edition. This DVD is like ten bucks. This is a special edition DVD. Jerry Seinfeld comedian. And look at this; it's autographed. Hold on. This is a burnt homemade DVD, dude. This is, that's this is because, me that's Jerry's autograph. well, I'm trying to explain. This is the special edition. It's in black and white. Black and white? You just copied the original. I did not copy it, sir. That is a classic black and white cover. It makes it look more of a nostalgic 30 bucks. look. And it is a gift that I was going to give you for $30. But if you keep talking, I might just jump up to 50 I don't have an experience with Chip Seinfeld. You know, I've had... I've had uh, I've had ordeals with him. I've had hassles with him. I don't feel like I've had an experience. You know, he kind of, in, he just, he inflicts himself on people. So that's not having an experience. So when experience is a shared thing, and you know, it was just, a, it was just a lot of yelling, and then I just tuned out, and I put on my, you know, iPod headphones, and he ripped them off. He wanted to finish a sentence, and I put him back on again, and I walked away. If that's an experience, then okay, then I had an experience with Chip Seinfeld, but there you go. Frankly, I'm insulted with all of the um, accusations. Why is there a camera here? That's an extra hundred dollars. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> we will discuss this in, in the other room. Please. Chip, you already owe me four hundred dollars. <clears throat> this is my veterinarian, Doctor Velveda. Doctor, we're gonna go talk about the cat in the other room for a minute, please. Chip, this is bullshit. Chip Seinfeld is an amazing comic. He also happens to be the father of my child. I wanted to fuck Jerry Seinfeld, but he only fucks Jewish girls, so I was relegated to Chip. Chip! Zip it, buddy. Just do it. Chip! Do as I say. You didn't give me enough money. You only paid for a hand job. Do it. Chip! You didn't give me enough money. We agreed on a hand job. You'll like it. Chip, stop! You already owe me money. God! You don't like it. What the fuck is he doing in here? I'm calling Junebug. This is bullshit. He's gonna kill both of you. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Velveeta, Velveeta, Velveeta. Velveeta. I didn't know about this. I'm gonna kill you both. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. Please, come here. Come back, come back. Chip, dude. Chip, Chip. What the fuck is that, dude? What the fuck? Chip. What the fuck is that, dude? An acquaintance of mine. I'm not getting killed for your dumbass. We should probably go um, maybe see a movie or something. No, is she serious? She have a pimp named Junebug? I'm not, no. Why would a veterinarian have- I'm not risking my life for you, dude. No. Uh, my name is Herb Gross. I am the owner and proprietor and CEO and president of Gross Entertainment. And I represent my number one client, 
Chip Seinfeld. Chip is uh, very unique in that uh, you don't see too many comics out there with the last name Seinfeld. Mr. Gross? Hey, how's my favorite client? Uh, what, what, what's all this? He's doing a documentary about uh, yours truly. A documentary? This is what? To help your career? Yeah. Uh, nobody watches documentaries, don't you know that? Come on. Uh, do you have my commission? Oh, I do. I, uh, I have a... Uh, we gotta do business. Mike, you mind uh, winding outside for just a minute? I'm just, we're gonna settle up some numbers. We're taking everything. Well, this is more like business, though. This is not uh, something you wouldn't. This wouldn't look good on a film. Anyway. No, it's, it's very not, boring. And, and, uh, just here, I'm gonna just. If you can just walk out here, this is private. Right here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll be back. Well, you know, I know it's a fashionable attitude right now to uh, hate Chip Seinfeld. Apparently, uh, he's hurt some of my friends. Um, and he's hurt me. He, uh, he stole my joke uh, about building a wall around a Mexican. And uh, that was my only joke. So uh, I don't do stand-up now. Does that make me hate him? No. I love him. Really? Uh, yeah, I think, well, here's the thing. Chip is sort of like a ballerina without legs. I mean, she probably shouldn't dance, but she still does, and that's, that's and it's painful for everybody, including her on her little stumpy legs, and everybody who has to watch it. But it's hope. In fact, if you look at Chip and Hope, they both have H and P's, and that's it's an inspiration to me. It's a nice connection. It is. It is really. Uh, you know what? The dude, the dude has an inner beauty. It's you have to really look for it, but it's there. It's there, and, and I think he's a comedian of hope. So, what? You spent the money on love? I got a big pay for it. That should be not there. Can we just cut that out here? Yeah, I thought you told you not to tape anything. Hey man, there's, there's no door here. What do you expect me to do? That is uh, very unprofessional. I told you I was taping everything. Well, can you edit out the uh, co -pain? Yeah, just edit it out. Just yeah, lose, I'll, I'll just edit lose. it out. This, it really has People don't know you do blow anyways, right? I hope not. This has got nothing to do with anything as far as the, the business entertainment. Sorry. You this is not even, this isn't, uh, what it looks like. You got a dollar bill? <laughs> this is uh Chip Seinfeld, V blog number two. Uh things are going well. N uh, nothing is my fault. I mean there's been a lot of mishaps, but none because of me. All it is is um other people fucking up. I guarantee you. You've only heard one side of the story if you've heard bad things about me. I guarantee you, you've only heard one side of the story. Even if it's from 12 different people. All those sides of the story are bullshit. <laughs> the people are just dicks nowadays. You try to be nice and they just treat you like, like you're not Seinfeld. I, uh, I heard some sort of weird noise. I'm just going to go check it. I'm just gonna go check it out here. Hmm. Let's see here. Let me see. Ah! Oh my! What the? Oh my god! I I know I saw something. I know. He, he, he claims he's an innovator. Absolutely an innovator. You know. He appeals to the masses without being hacky, you know, without being, uh, you know, without being lowbrow. Good to be here. Thanks for coming out, everybody. It's been Chip Seinfeld. Who does the law, Mike? Get out of here. Make it long. 
Nah, that chip is a card. He's a card. The chip, man, he's he's ahead of his time. He's very postmodern in that way. He does say you know? he's a revolutionary. Yeah, it's a revolution. Of something. I'm not, yeah. It's Kaufman-esque, man. He just, because he, he'll take over a whole nother guy's life, you know? And, I mean, who does that? The genius does that. Sometimes people don't get it. They get angry. But they, that's, you know, that's a comic mind at work, man. People, you know, they didn't understand a lot of people. They didn't understand Bill Hicks at the time, right? I'm coming back in. If you guys don't mind. I'm not comfortable with this whole thing here. Too. I'm starting to not be uh, comfortable either. Did he tell you about me? This is the first time you've I, heard? This is the first I've heard about this. I don't understand how this is going to help you. Nobody watches document. When's the last time you watched PBS or something like that? I mean, I nobody know. watches that. No. Right. So what do you plan on doing with this? Well, I think that the average man wants to see how a super strong celebrity lives. The ins and outs, the every days of being uh, famous and having a big name, you know? Heffron's going to be in here in a minute, and he knows I'm coming. He's going to be glad to see me, and he's going to tell me that... Uh, I'll do a guess set. Thanks. Hey, thanks. Chip Seinfeld, Jerry. Oh, hey, hey, dude. What's up? I was going to see if maybe I can get some time after you get off stage uh, for the rest of the week, do some guest sets. You know, you can close her out, and then I'll reclose her out. Like a double headliner thing. Hey, uh, what? Go up bef before me? I was thinking after, because Heffron is not as big of a name as Seinfeld, so you can be kind of like my opener. Pretty dick. You don't go up after fucking like headliner. He thinks she's innovative. It, it will change the whole thing. I'm pioneering a new movement. You're going to perform to people leaving. So are you saying no to me? or? My Jerry Seinfeld's my brother. And yeah. I can have you fired for pretty well, much any game you do, Heffron. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, have to put uh, muscle on uh, you. Well, uh, we'll make this uh, simple. You, you're, you can't do fucking go up after me. Listen, this guy, this guy's pure funny. He's just, uh, he's got it. He's got the it. I should be the one acting like a Hollywood country club asshole, not him. Maybe you want to get off your high horse there, Jerry? I'm, I'm working on a lot of other stuff. I've got some good things lined up here. It could be HBO. I've been making phone calls. Let me put this on speakerphone. <laughs> That's gross. Hey, her motherfucker, you listen to me, her motherfucker. I want my money by Friday, bitch. Uh, you owe me 10 grand, motherfucker. You I think you got the wrong number. I'm gonna kill no. you, ass, bitch. You're Don't hang up on me, motherfucker. Well, HBO, uh... That was not, uh, not... That's not HBO. No, that wasn't HBO. That was the wrong number. But, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Anyway, uh... Let me just turn this off. Who's that? Don't, don't, don't answer it. You sure? Ignore it. Are you the comedy bunker we're trying to talk to? It's some white guy. Ignore it. I'm gonna open it, dude. Ignore it. it. Ignore it. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? It's called Vita and some old white guy. Junebug. You're Junebug? Yeah, I'm Junebug. Why? Uh, baby, this is the guy. Yeah. Okay. Four hundred dollars, <laughs> like you don't remember. Well, I remember. I will get your money. I told her that I'm. You told her you'd her get. Money. You've been writing her IOUs for fucking blowjobs. Okay. This doesn't have to be ugly. You know you owe four hundred dollars. Okay. IOUs don't float. It was a crayon. What is wrong with you? I told You're lucky I found you while I'm not mad. See that? 18 feet. 18 feet of leather. I'm not afraid to use it. I worked on the killing floor of a meat packing place. I could take care of you in two minutes. <laughs> I think you could use a little... Yeah, we'll cut that down right away. You take care of me when you took care of her. <laughs> and that's the last piece of business you'll do, my friend. What do you got over here? What? Skipper! What do you got, baby? No, uh, it's a cat toy. This is not a cat toy. Nice. It's enough blow to fly. I tell you what, you only owe me 200. Nice. There you go. Good call. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> All right, sweetie. What do you say we got? We're going to take off. Can you leave me a bump or something? Uh, 
Look, the only bump I'm gonna leave you is one on your noggin from behind you. You don't see me coming the next time, okay? Don't open the door if you don't know who it is. I'm gonna get my money from you. We're out of here. Two hundred. You uh, you call me. You better call me. I'll be back. I'll chop you up. I'll get you like a freaking fish. You listen to me, Skip? Chip. 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 Sip. Sip. Uh, Chip Seinfeld. Chip Seinfeld. Chip, yeah. Okay, whatever. He's kicked Opportunity itself in the balls so many times that it's not, Opportunity doesn't like him anymore. You know what I'm saying? He's had chances, you know? And he just shits all over him every time. I'll tell you another thing about Chip Seinfeld. He gives the best hand jobs of anyone on the circuit. Yeah. Does he walk away right after that? that? After calling you a fucking idiot? Does he insult you? Yes. My wife's ass has been reamed out by this guy. Like, he just pounds her whenever he gets a chance, and that angers me. Yeah, we got to the bottom of it. Yeah. Tried to be nice about it. I know he's not a nice guy. Just wish that cancer would hurry up. Chip Seinfeld is the fucking devil, and the only reason he's not in prison is because his brother has a lot of money. That's the only reason. Man's a saint. He's actually, he actually thinks he's better than Jerry and he's going to be bigger than Jerry. Great, great. Yeah, he's better than Jerry, he'll be bigger than Jerry. Great, fine. Good that he believes that. I like confidence. It's great. Good for Chip. This is the, uh... Chip Seinfeld. Veep. Chip Seinfeld. V-Blog number three. I'm hiding in my bathtub from the horseman. Somebody's trying to kill me. I mean, I just had a bunch of shitty gigs that were sabotaged by someone, because I never have shit gigs. And I, I think the horseman's trying to kill me. I'm hiding in my bathtub. Things have just been really weird. <laughs> ah, shit, it, it disappeared. Did you see? I think he... That's the weirdest shit I ever saw. I'm afraid to get out of the bathtub. There's a weird horse man. <coughs> he scared me into sne a sneezing fit. That was some voodoo shit right there. A horse had just disappeared. I don't like this shit at all. I need a bump. in people's beds. What, what's the story? I think that Jerry's trying to tell me something. Jerry's a very powerful man. He's sending a message. I think it's a message from Jerry. I think Jerry wants me dead. Well, he's looking dead. I don't know. Because I'm funnier and better looking than him? I don't know. I'm good friends with Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. I know a lot about Jerry Seinfeld. In Jerry's world, do you think Chip Seinfeld exists? doesn't exist. 
Guy better watch his ass. The wrath of the real Seinfeld's gonna come down on me. It ain't gonna be pretty. Jerry Seinfeld wants you to believe that Chip doesn't exist. But no, he does exist. He's very real. And if you aren't careful, he will seep into your mind and spread like a virus, driving you insane. Well, I am on cloud nine after that little performance. I think everything went as smooth as it could have gone. I got on stage. I got on stage. For like two seconds. You have fucking douchebag shit. You are a douche.